Okay, today I want to talk about the JavaScript debugger keyword. Now, the JavaScript debugger keyword is something you can put in any script that you write, like I have right here in this very, very simple file. Uh, I've got a paragraph in the body that I'm going to click on to make this function do click run. I have a variable x where I initialize with the value 1 and then I change its value a couple of times inside this function. So I'm going to show you how to use breakpoints inside the debugger and how to launch the debugger from your script. When the page loads, I'm adding the click listener onto the body. So when I click on the body, it's going to run this function. All right, so let's take a look and see what this does. Now, in Chrome, when I have my page and I launch it, I refresh it, here it is. I have to have this open so we can close this we can right click and click on inspect that will launch it you can go into the dev tools in the menu so up here in the menu we can go down to more tools developer tools and launch it that way so there's a few different ways that we can launch it but once it's launched then the debugger is going to run so when I click on this I'm running the function that is defined inside of here. Click will call do click. Do click has this debugger line inside of it. So let's click on the body. There we are. Now in Chrome, this will jump over to the sources tab and you can see that it's got this line highlighted debugger. It tells me on the page that it's paused in the debugger, which is true. My script has actually paused. It's not running right now. It's waiting on this line for me to decide what I want to do. And I can skip to the next line, or I can say, you know what, just resume. Let the script run again, do whatever it was going to do. So I've got the, the lines here. I've also got them over here, so I can do the same thing. So I click, it goes to the next line, or if I click on the resume button, there we go. Now the script is back to running normally. Okay, that's the debugger, it comes into here. If I've got Firefox open, there's a tab called debugger. So I can be over on inspector. When I click this, it will jump to the debugger and it goes to that line. And again, I can resume playing or click again to get to the debugger. Then I can skip line by line through the code. Next thing are breakpoints. With breakpoints, we come into the debugger, into the sources tab, into the debugger area, and we can click right here on the numbered lines and we can add breakpoints. So I click here, I get this little blue arrow. This is now a line where the code will want to stop. So I click on here, it jumps in, stops at the debugger. If I say resume, it only runs to my breakpoint. Great. So I can get it to pause at different points in my script to see where errors are happening. Or even better, I can take a look to see what's happening with variables. And that's what this watch section here is. Now I've added the variable x inside of here. Let's, um, let's just refresh our page to go back to, there we go. Now x is 1. When the page loads, the variable x is set equal to 1. When I click this, I'm expecting the variable x to be changed. Here it's going to be 4. So when I stop at the debugger, x should be 4. And when I resume again, it's going to reach this line where it's changed to 7. So I'll try clicking on the body at the line debugger where it stopped. True. Here we are. x has changed to 4. When I resume, get to my next breakpoint, x is 7. Now, I'm only working with one variable. I'm stopping on the line where I'm changing it. It's very easy, obvious that I'm changing it to those various values. But if you have a very complex script, if you've got a lot of variables and you want to track a whole bunch of them, you can add them up here in the watch. So you could add additional variables, additional objects that you're watching to see if properties in those objects are changing. This area lets you create a list of things and maybe they're being changed over the course of multiple functions and you want to find out at one particular breakpoint has this value been updated before I'm trying to use it and that's the whole purpose behind this is making your debugging a little bit more logical something that's easier for you to follow you can watch variables to see if they're being changed 
And that's it. That's the debugger keyword, the setting of breakpoints. You can see there's a list of breakpoints over here and the watch list. So you can watch objects and variables to find out how they change, when they change, and if they're changing to things that you expect. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in comments down below. I will leave a code gist with this little code sample if you want to use that. Um, and as always, thanks for watching.